I'm still doing some uh, Zoom shows here and there because they're fun. We've talked about it. I like the Zoom show because I like closing that computer and turning the ball game on. It's so here, here. nice. No commute, no nothing. So I did the Zoom show. Great show, killer show. It's like uh, it's it's like a San Francisco based, I think. And the guy hosting it was hilarious, Sammy something. I forget his name. Onita maybe mm, had a great Sosa. joke. I'll I'll figure it out. I'll tweet or something. But great great guy. Oh, I don't I don't know if he's a great guy. He's probably a great guy. But really funny guy. I watched this whole set. I was LOLing. And All this right. other woman went on first, and she was great. I'm like, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. He's hilarious. She was hilarious. I'm sitting here between you and me. I got the hockey game on in the background. I got one eye on that. And then it's time to do my set. I go, let me focus up here. And the crowd was so nice, so supportive. And I do this joke that I, I used to do years ago. It never went anywhere. I brought it back. And it's about, this is a true story. Years ago, I lived in Harlem and I went to my car and there was like three African-American young youngsters sitting sure. on the, the hood and roof of my car. Ugh. And so I just didn't take the trip. True story. <laughs> I was like, all right, I don't want to deal with that. That's crazy. That's and hilarious. So I just came back and my girlfriend at the time was like, where are you going? And I was like, ah, I'll visit my parents another day. I don't want to worry about it. Yeah. Because you know, it's intimidating. Like, of I, course. I was telling my friend, like, did you say something? I'm like, what are you, nuts? Yeah. I can't just kick six guys off my car. I, I felt terrible. And I, it's the joke's more about me being neurotic. I, I, I don't want to get into a beef with five guys. Plus, I already feel bad. I feel like I'm in their neighborhood, the whole thing. And they know your car now, or they would. Right. So I'm just like, it's a joke about me being neurotic, but I tell the joke, it gets some laughs, and then I just hear, wow, if you're going to be racist, your joke better be tight. And I did the natural thing where you're kind of like uh, taken aback. So I was like, what? Here and she's go. like, if you're going to be racist, your joke had better be tight. And first of all, I thought the joke did pretty well. Yeah. It's hard to tell on Zoom. But I said, uh, well, that's not, a, that's not racist. I, the joke's about me being neurotic. I'm too nervous to say anything. I don't like confrontation, so I'd rather just not ask people to get off a thing that is mine. Yes. I'd rather just leave. I mean, the joke is about me. Obviously. Also, you um, live in Harlem. There's three guys on your car. They're being assholes. Who cares the color? It, it's a good bit. And so I, I, in the joke, I'm like, I was woke before it was cool. This is how woke I am. So maybe because I was saying woke. But to me, it's like I'm tying in the idea that I did that because I, I'm concerned with racial equality. So I'll, I'll give them my car. I mean, that's the yes. joke. I thought it was pretty obvious. But I think she heard buzzword of white guy mentioning the race of people. Yep. And so I kind of explained that. I was like, it's a joke about me being neurotic. It's, it's not racist. And I was like, if that's a racist joke, it's the least racist joke I've ever heard of yes. any joke that's qualified as a racist joke. I'm like, I can tell you some jokes that'll really blow your fucking mind. And oh, sure. the nice thing was the chat kept being like, not racist at all. I'm black. I don't care. You're fine. You're good. But it's, it was strange feeling to just be like, I was not expecting that. But in, in Zoom, I guess it's easy enough to just to unmute and say, hey, fuck you. It was very strange. A, a Did Zoom heckle. Did you get the look? A uh, look at the gal. I didn't know. I didn't really look, and it it there's a whole crowd there, so it's hard to see where it came from. Right, right. Yeah, but, well, it's just like a heckle when you get heckled in the bright lights, and you're like, God, if I could see you, I'd really make fun of your appearance, but I can't. Yeah, well, my thing was like, I'm like, let me just explain the joke. I, I feel like she doesn't get it. Um, but it was very annoying. And then the host, I, I really appreciate it. He went on after. He's like, what the hell was that? He's like, Joe, this is like the nicest guy in the business, which I appreciated. Um, yeah. But it's uh. one of those things where you're like, do you think I'm a big part of the problem here? <laughs> like you're, you're watching a comedy show. I, I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm a comic in my yeah. fucking living room. We're all trying to, we're trying to entertain you. And again, it's like a joke of a, a real thing that happened, by the way. Yes. So I, I don't understand how this is racist or how you're like, I'm going to really stand up, uh, march and vote and, and donate money. But I'm like, I don't quite see how I'm contributing to a problem by yeah. saying, uh, yeah, these guys were on my car. So I didn't take the trip. Yeah. You, you know what this is? This is I don't know if the lady on the scooter had a helmet, but that's the same lady because you'll, you'll never mm. be able to convince her even if you reason and you have a rational point there's no convincing and 
she thinks if 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 she goes. Oh, all right, I got it. You're right, you're right. Then she's racist now. It's this weird racism tag thing they do where they go, I got to call someone else racist so I feel better. You know? Obviously, the joke isn't racist. She's probably had some racist thoughts. She's got some guilt, or she wants to be a hero, and you're a honky, and uh, you were probably getting some chuckles. Maybe that didn't rub, rub her the right way. It's, it's clearly an internal thing, strife going on, and she's got to hit you with it. Yeah, it was uh, it was a bummer. I mean, I wasn't. It didn't uh, worry me too much. It was one of those things where you hang up and you're like, "That was crazy." No. But whatever. 